The discovery of penicillin is regarded as one of the most important medical finds in history. Antibiotics are used to fight all sorts of infections. But some top health officials have been warning that our overuse of these drugs is going to cause serious problems soon. The story all starts with this, a microscopic bacteria. It's pretty harmless looking, isn't it? Nearly cute even. But inside your body, in big numbers, they can be deadly. Every time you get an infection, a fight breaks out. Your body tries to defend you, but bacteria can be strong. And without help, your defences can be overpowered. That's where antibiotics come in. They're like elite forces against nasty bacteria. They can turn the tide, leaving you safe and sound. Antibiotics have saved millions of lives since their discovery. All it takes is a trip to the pharmacy and a few pills. It's so easy, you can forget what a life-changing discovery they really were. Before antibiotics, people could die from simple things we wouldn't think twice about, like an infection from a bad cut. Then in 1928, a discovery was made by accident. A scientist named Alexander Fleming left some dirty petri dishes laying around when he went on holiday. When he got back, mould had formed, but around it, there was no bacteria. Fleming wrote a paper about this special mould, but that's where he left it. About a decade later, in 1939, an Australian man decided this mould was worth a closer look. Howard Florey and his team found ways to extract the powerful parts that fought bacteria. Within a few years, the world's first antibiotic was born. It was called penicillin. These days, there are many different types of antibiotics. 22 million prescriptions are filled each year in Australia. But this success story might have an unhappy ending because now our reliance on antibiotics is making them weaker. Let's go back to that village inside your body. For a long time, antibiotic elite forces have been stopping bacterial invaders. But every so often, bacteria can learn how to survive a fight. Those stronger bacteria can then multiply. And soon you have a whole army of super bacteria that antibiotics can't stop. The World Health Organization says this is happening right now. And antibiotic resistant super bacteria are becoming a serious medical problem. But the battle isn't lost yet. There are things we can all do to help stop super bacteria. First, don't get antibiotics if you don't need them. Most normal colds are caused by viruses, not bacteria, so antibiotics are useless against them. Second, if you do need antibiotics, take the whole course you're given. If you stop early when you're feeling better, it can leave some resistant bacteria floating around. And finally, don't take any antibiotics that you weren't prescribed. Each type is for a specific purpose, and taking the wrong type can just train bacteria to be resistant without helping you feel better. So that's what you can do to help in the fight against super bacteria. By following these three simple steps, you can give your elite antibiotic fighters a fighting chance.